Hey everybody, so I'm gonna show you how I make my squeezable wax melts. These are a huge hit in my shop and um, the reason why I prefer squeezable wax melts over your traditional like clamshell wax melts is because they're a lot stronger. You can use more fragrance oil and when you add your carrier oil in here, that's what makes it not solidify. It also enables you to put much more fragrance oil in there. I use about 18% fragrance oil, which seems like a lot, and it is, but it's extremely strong. So I recommend to my customers that have big houses that want to, you know, fill their entire house with a fragrance to buy these over a candle. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it. They're super simple. Um, all right, cool. Okay, so I'm going to start with my pot and my scale. So to make the squeezable wax melts, you're gonna do one parts wax, two parts oil. So I'm gonna grab my wax. I use 464 soy wax, but I have used 6006 parasoy, and that one works perfect too. You just wanna make sure that it's a soft wax. Um, if your wax is like a, a pillar wax, it's not gonna work because it's not soft enough and it'll just solidify and get stuck and make honestly a mess. So I'm gonna grab my wax really quick. And I'm gonna do four ounces. And I didn't get enough at all. Sorry, that was a little frustrating. Okay, so I'm gonna do four ounces of my wax. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go heat this up to um, probably 185 to 190, and I'll be right back. So I heated my wax up to 190 degrees, and then I stuck it on the scale, and I added eight ounces of vegetable oil. You can use coconut oil, canola oil. Um, I use vegetable oil because it's cheaper, and it performs the exact same than it would coconut oil. It's got about a six month shelf life for customers, but I'm telling you, they'll run out of these wax melts within like three weeks. So now that I have the vegetable oil in there, I am going to just return it to the heat, probably for like three minutes, just to make sure it's at 190 because when you add the vegetable oil, it does cool off. So let's let it get a little bit hotter. Okay, so I'm back in my candle station. I've got my four ounces of wax and eight ounces of vegetable oil hot. It's heated up. And so let's see, we're going to add whatever colors you want in your fragrance oil. Like I said, I do about 18%. So to this eight ounces of wax, I use one and a half ounces of fragrance oil. Okay, so I added my one and a half ounces of fragrance oil and my mica powder to make it pretty. And I'm just mixing, and I'm gonna mix it for about three minutes. You make this the exact same way you would a regular candle. Um, the only difference is you put the oil in there and more fragrance oil. And I'm sure you can even use more fragrance. You could probably go up to 20% fragrance oil because when you add the carrier oil, it binds to the fragrance oil better than the wax does. So that enables you to use more. So I will be back when this is ready to pour and I'll show you guys how I pour it. Okay, so my oil is mixed and my wax is mixed, everything's good to go. And so I'm gonna pour it. So I bought these off Amazon and I have a little funnel. And you wanna work with this wax before it even starts to solidify at all because then it's gonna be impossible to get in your container. So while it's still hot, I'm gonna pour it into the bag, squeezy thing, pouch. And I fill it all the way up to the top. And I did measure this, is eight ounces. Okay. Okay, so I filled up both of my bags and then I'm going to seal them. And I'm gonna show you guys what they look like once they harden. And I'll tell you guys what to do. So then you just leave these and they'll solidify in about 
10 minutes. So this is one of the melts that I made yesterday and you can see that it's like got its form, it looks great and how it's solidified a little bit right there. So all you do, and this is what I tell my customers, is you just stick it down on the table and you crack it and kind of break it up, make it squishy. And then there you go, you have your squishy wax. You just have to do that the one time. And if you have a cold house, they're probably gonna solidify it if you use coconut oil. That's another reason why I don't use coconut oil. Not that my house is cold because I'm in Arizona, but I know other states, you guys have what's called cold weather. And so that's why you vegetable oil doesn't harden. And that's it. There you go. Make sure you guys put a disclaimer for them not to put these on anywhere near flames because um, the carrier oil can be flammable and the high fragrance oil. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck.